Hi, in this video I will show you how to connect and communicate with other Linux machines in your local network. Let's start. We have a lot of work to do. At first we need to figure out what IP address my computers have. On the first hand I have a Linux Mint machine. I can look after the IP address by clicking on my network settings here and select network settings. Here I have my IP address which is in my case 10.0.2.50. On the other hand I have a Sauron OS computer. To get to the network settings I select these icons down here, select my connection and select wired settings in my case. And if this window opens up I select this small key here and now under details I have my IP address which is in this case the dot for in the end. You can also look after your IP address by typing the following terminal command IP whitespace A. So we have different interfaces here. Normally you have to look to the second interface here. And I look to the INET directive here and here we see our IP address. This helps a lot if you are at a server. So perfect. Now we know the IP of each other devices. But what if we want to look which devices are available in our local network. So I open up my terminal in my case on the Linux Mint machine but you can do this thing on every Linux system. And at first we have to install nmap. So I type in sudo apt install nmap. Type in my password here and after a small amount of time nmap is installed. To scan my local network for all devices I can find I have to type in sudo nmap-sn and then my IP area network which is in my case the 10.0.2.0. You can derive it of one IP address of your device. So if we look up to our IP address this is my IP address and to get all IP addresses of your network just edit the last number after the dot to a zero. Now we have this IP address which we need to scan for all devices in our local network. So I type in the command sudo nmap-sn 10.0.2.0 we learned it and slash 24 which is the netmask. I will explain that in another video. So in the end I select enter and now nmap is scanning our whole network and here we have all devices and IP addresses which are available in our local network which is in my case 10.2.1, 10.2.2, 10.0.2.3.4 and the .15 which is the Linux Mint machine here we have already. The .4 is our Soren OS. Perfect. Now we know which devices are connected into our local network. This is very helpful for example to find your printer. Now I can talk to the other device and sending a friendly hello by typing in the ping process. I type in ping and after that I type in the IP address of the other device I want to say hello <laughs> which is in my case the Soren OS machine which has the IP address dot four in the end. So I select enter and here we see okay there are coming 64 bytes and I can exit this command by pressing ctrl z. Now I can connect to my other machine. If I want to check if I have a internet connection I can also type in ping for example Linux guides de and here I also send some small hellos to my German website which is reachable of my computer here. You can also change it to, to google.com for example. This works with every internet service which is great to check very fast if your computer is connected to the internet. So now I want to send a file from my Linux Mint machine to the Sorin OS machine. 
On Sauron OS, we have different options for that. Let's start with the easiest one. For that, I open up the software center of Sauron OS and search for Warpinator. You can install Warpinator on other Linux distributions by Flatpak on Linux Mint. This app is already pre-installed. So yeah, I have installed Warpinator already. If you didn't, just do it and pause this video for a minute and let us launch Warpinator on both computers. So here on my Zone OS machine and also on my Linux Mint machine. Perfect. Now let us wait for a minute and if you started Warpinator on both sides, they gonna find each other. So here we have our Zone OS side on the dot four in the end and on our Zone OS we see our Linux Mint at our dot 15. Perfect. Now I can send a file from Linux Mint, for example, to Zorin OS or vice versa. For that, I create a new document, subscribe to linuxguides.txt, for example, and I can send this file very easily to the other person by clicking on the other person and whether select send files or just drag and drop it into the white field here. And now it is waiting for approval. If I head over to my Zorin OS machine, we see here new incoming files. I can desline or accept it. I select accept here. And now the transfer is complete in my case. And we have the file subscribed to Linux Guide TXT in our Warpinator folder here, which is directly under our home folder here. Perfect. Now we can send us single files or folders which is already very, very strong. You can also use Warpinator to send files between computer and smartphones, for example. There already exists a Android app. To secure Warpinator, especially if you are in a cafe or public place, select set code here and define a private group code. You can type in whatever you want. For example, I type in subscribe to Linux guides. I set the code here and now the secure mode is on and I don't find my Linux Mint machine anymore because on the Linux Mint machine I have to do the same thing and I have to type in the same group code that the instances find each other again. So I type in the same code here and select set code and after a few seconds, our Zorin OS machine will be found again. Here we have it, perfect. Now this is much more secure, especially in public places. But if you want to communicate with these devices now via Warpinator, you have to set the same group code in the settings of the Warpinator app. Perfect, that's all about Warpinator. I can close Warpinator by selecting the burger menu on the top left here and select quit. But by the way, it is very important to secure your computer against any unwanted requests. So for that, I highly recommend you to use the firewall. On both menus, I can open the firewall configuration. I type in my password and to activate the firewall, I set the status to on, perfect. But now if I want to use Warpinator again, this doesn't work anymore because our firewall is blocking the requests of other Warpinator instances. To allow this again, we can open up Warpinator on Linux Mint. This just works for Linux Mint. I select the burger menu on the top left corner and select preferences, head over to connection here and click on update firewall rules. Now I have to type in my password and now the firewall rules are set and Warpinator is working again on my Linux Mint machine. Perfect. The firewall rules appear if you restart the firewall window here. But for me, this is okay. You can just open up firewall again and see the new rules here. In this case, Warpinator main, Warpinator auth, Warpinator main, Warpinator auth. Perfect. On Zorin OS, 
you open up the firewall configuration by pressing the super key and type in firewall. Here we have the firewall configuration. I type in my password and we have the same window here. Under rules, I already added the port 42000 and 42001. You can add rules by clicking on the plus sign here, head over to simple, type in a name, for example, Warpinator, and type in the port, which would be in case 40001, for example. I select add and 40000, I also select add. By in this case, these rules already exist here. Now let us head over that we can browse the whole directory of another Linux machine. I want to access this whole Zone OS computer from my Linux Mint machine, so I have to install on my Zone OS computer a specific package. I open up my terminal and type in sudo apt install open ssh server. You can find this command in the video description. I press enter, type in my password and press enter again, then OpenSSH server is gonna be installed in a few seconds. Perfect. This is now installed. To allow this in my firewall, I have to open up the firewall again, go to rules and enter that the application SSH here, I can search for it here, SSH is added. Just click on add and click on close. Now we see the rules SSH port 22. This is very important. For this step, please, before this step, please ensure that your user has a secure login password. So I close the firewall settings here and head over to my Linux Mint machine. To easily access the Soren OS file structure, I open up my file manager here and head over to file connect to server. On the server connection fields, I select type SSH and type in the IP address of my zone OS machine, which is 10.0.2.4 in my case, port 2022. Now I type in my username of zone OS, which is in my case, Jean, which is all written in small letters and my password of my zone OS machine of this specific user. So in the end, I click on connect and at the first time you connect to a new computer, you become this warning. This is completely okay for local machines. You can click on login anyway. And now we are on our Zone OS machine. If I click on home and head over to Jean, I see my whole folder structure here. I could go to the downloads folder here and create a new document, for example, test123.txt. And on my Zone OS machine, if I open up my downloads folder, you can now see this test123.txt file, which I created from my Linux Mint machine. With this, you can very easily connect to other Linux machines and exchange files with them. If you want to connect from Zone OS to Linux Mint, you also have to install OpenSSH server on Linux Mint and add it to the firewall. And to connect from here, you select other locations here and enter the address SSH column slash double slash and then the IP address of the Linux Mint machine, which is in my case, the 10.0.4.15, which is enough for us and I select connect. After that, you can click on connect to connect to the Linux Mint machine from your Zone OS computer. But make sure that OpenSSH server is also installed on your Linux Mint machine. But yeah, that's enough for that. You can also access your Zone OS, for example, via the web browser. I open up my web browser and I type in sftp column slash slash and now the IP address of my Zone OS machine, which is this one. I click on enter and because Linux Mint stored the password of our Zone OS user for this session, we can access this folder structure here directly and go to our Jean folder 
and also head over to our documents or better to say downloads folder. Here we see our test123.txt which I created a minute ago. Perfect. Now let us come to the end of this video. We have now learned how to exchange files between our two Linux machines. In the end I want to access the Sauron OS machine via terminal that I can do everything at the Sauron OS machine from my Linux Mint computer. So I open up my terminal and type in SSH now the name of the user of the Sauron OS machine which is in my case Jean, the at symbol and the IP address of the Sauron OS machine which is in this case 10.0.2.4. I select enter and type in the password for this. I type it in and now we are at Sauron OS and I can issue now every command directly on the Sauron OS machine. I can install some software, I can update software, I can remove some software, I can delete files, I can create files and I can for example shut down the Sauron OS machine with one command. So I head over to my Sauron OS machine and put it in this window here. Just ignore it that this machine is only in this window but here we have our complete Sauron OS computer and I can shut down it now by typing in sudo shut down now. I type in my password for that, I press enter and Sauron OS shut downs itself perfect. It is now offline. Perfect. That was it for today. I hope I could help you and show you new things how to connect with your other Linux machines in your local network. In the end card I put you a video from my own Linux app I made for you the Linux assistant. I highly recommend you this video if you want a daily helper which helps you at administrative tasks and has a great search. Have a nice day. Bye.